What's up, boys? Got some. We're talking about some player props in today's video. Got a bunch to talk about. This can apply to all websites, whether that's Prize Picks, Underdogs, FanDuel Sportsbook, BitMGM, all those different websites. We're we'll talking about in today's video. So we're gonna go ahead and hop into this here. Before we do, if anyone is new, make sure you guys like the video and subscribe. Really does help me out. So appreciate you guys with those three things. But we got a couple other stuff to talk about before hopping into this video here. So stick with me here. But if you guys are not already on Prize Picks or Underdog, definitely recommend signing up. Both websites match your first deposit up to $100. So if you guys deposit $60, they'll match it. They'll give you guys $120 to go ahead and play with so pretty awesome right there if you guys are not already on the patreon if you guys are interested link is in the description for that as well uh pretty awesome right there a bunch of you guys have been signing up seriously do appreciate you guys ten dollars a month you guys get my daily picks every single day you can also get in on the premium discord but if you guys are not already in the discord it's free to join uh so go ahead and join that we talk about stuff all the time in there i just started that so appreciate if you guys would do that but that's also in the description so yeah we talk about everything whether that's nfl and a NFL, NBA, or any of the other sports, so pretty awesome right there, but uh, we're going to go ahead and hop into this video here, so let's go ahead and do that here. All right, let's go ahead and check out some of these. Also, there might be a Cyber Monday deal apparently coming today, so if you guys do not are not familiar with the deals price pick does, sometimes they drop players down from like 17 and a half down to 14 and a half like Tobias Harris right there, maybe they do that for Cyber Monday, and you can take the over if you guys like it. I think like two of them, two out of three hit on Black Friday, but they also do the same thing on Tuesdays and that they're four and four on that on hitting the over so pretty awesome right there but let's go ahead and talk about some of these here gotta pull up my notes here and uh we'll start with the points here this is one that's pretty solid not my favorite of the day i'm gonna save a lot of these picks for the patreon obviously can't give you guys all mine but uh yeah carlton towns here 21 and a half so pretty good right here it looks like he's hitting three out of his last five he barely missed by half a point hopefully that doesn't happen today that'd be a pretty bad beat not trying to speak into existence man but yeah, uh, Carlton Towns there, center, pulling the Pacers, so he should be starting at center, he is, two and a half point spread with a high point total, that should be pretty good, really good news for taking me over in today's game with the Timberwolves and the Pacers, so that game starts at 8 o'clock tonight, so it should be pretty good, Vanderbilt, that needs to get adjusted because he literally just is now questionable with illness, so we'll see if he ends up playing, but he's been pretty good for taking rebounds and stuff, uh, in points actually the last couple of days, but Carlton Towns here, let's see how he matches up. With the Pacers, and he is going against the third best defense against the against the center, which is really really tough. But I'm not so worried about it because it's currently in Towns. The matchup seems tough, but I'm really not that worried about it to be honest with you. Not in favor of the day, kind of because of that matchup, but I still think he should be a very very solid play today against the Pacers. Let's go ahead to one of my favorites though, honestly, and that is in the Cleveland Cavaliers game. So let's take a look at this right here, Darius Garland. 100% hit rate in his last five at 17 and a half. Cleveland uh, should be a shooting no point guard. He's starting at point guard going against the Dallas Mavericks. So it should be pretty good game. Six and a half point spread. Shouldn't get out of hand. It, there's a shot that it could be a blowout, but not really. I'm not really worried about blowouts unless it's eight and a half points or more. And there's only one of those today, I believe. And that is the Orlando Magic in the 76ers game. So definitely avoid taking overs in this game. The only time I think you guys should be taking overs is if it's in the first half of a game. So if you guys are going to play first half, that's when I recommend taking overs. But if it's full game, I definitely don't recommend taking overs in full games like that. Because like Devin Booker the other day, he only played three quarters. So, and someone only played three, two and a half quarters. Brandon Ingram, they were getting blown out so bad. He played two and a half quarters. He needed one more rebound for me. And he only played two and a half quarters. It sucks so bad. Stay away from blowouts on either side of the team, no matter what team it is. But just a quick PSA right there. But let's let's talk about Darius Garland again here. So point guard going against the Dallas Mavericks. Let's go ahead and take a look at this here. And the Dallas Mavericks, it looks like they are going to be right in the middle. Did I pass them? Yeah, I must have. Where's Dallas? Am I blind? Okay, they're right there. So yeah, they're a little bit on the harder side, but really not that bad. What is that? 10th hardest? So the 10th hardest point guard defense. Really not worried about it, though. He's hitting his last five. Should be pretty good right there. I don't believe Cleveland and the Mavericks have played yet this year. Don't quote me on that, but I don't believe they have. But uh, should be pretty good right there for Darius Garland. We can see where number fire has Carlton Anthony Towns, actually. We need to look at that, too. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these guys. Number fire, free projections, pretty awesome sight. Carlton Anthony Towns is actually right in our face right now. So they had him projected at 22.5, so they also have him projected for the over. Let's take a look at Darius Garland here. They have Darius Garland at 19.2 points, so that puts him over on the over by about two points. So it looks pretty good today for Darius Garland. In my opinion, one of my favorites for today, not the favorite of the day, but 
pretty solid play right there for Darius Garland, I think. Should be um, against the Dallas Mavericks. So let's go ahead, though. Let's take a look at, I think we're going to go to another stat here. We're probably do an assist one, a rebound one, and a three-point make. Is that what I want to do today? No. I don't know. We'll, we'll just kind of rock with it here. Uh, let's go ahead and go with assists. Let's, let's hop over. Let's hop off of points for a second. I could give you guys an under. Yeah, I might give you guys an under. Yeah, we'll give you guys an under here, too. Well, let's hop on assists here first, though. So let's go ahead, though, and let's hop on Kevin Porter here. So, interesting game. <laughs> Houston and the OK, oh, uh, OKC. Not the most anticipated matchup, but, yeah, let's take a look at this here. So, right here. Two point spread, so it should be a pretty close game. It's actually a pretty high point total, so that's really good news. But, uh, yeah, Kevin Porter. Starting at point guard against OKC. So let's take a look at assist here. Oh, actually, let's just click on him here because we take a look at his last five. He has hit one, two, and three in his last five. Should be pretty good for Kevin Porter tonight. So let's take a look at what we say point guard, right? Starting at point guard. Assist against OKC. OKC. So they're about right where the Dallas Mavericks were last time. Probably about 10 ish, 11. Hardest. But I'm not really worried about it. They have him 7.61 per game to the point guard position. He should be having the ball in his hand a lot. He has been a lot more. So that's part of the reason that I do like him. But, whoops. Let's look at Porter here. Come on. Can't type today, I guess. Uh, assist here. They have him at 6. So they like him on the over by half a point, which is good. That's all we need. So Kevin Porter should be pretty good today on hitting the over for assist. Pretty solid play, in my opinion. I like that. Right, that's probably right around where my Carlton Towns confidence level is, but I definitely like Darius Garland a lot more than those guys. If you guys had to choose, um, that's probably the only assist one I'm going to give. Let's hop over to three points and then points. Yeah, I'm going to save. I'm going to save my top pick for the day for the Patreon, but uh, premium Discord. But uh, yeah, three point makes here for Terry Rozier is one that I do like. He's at two right now. Would not be surprised if they bumped it up to two and a half. But he's at six, three, three, and eight, and then one. So, yeah, looks really, really good for Rozier in today's game. So, yeah, again, would not be surprised if they bumped up to 2.5. All he has to do is hit 2 when you push. I think it's pretty safe for, for Rozier to hit the uh, just two three-point makes. So, a 4 to 5 hit rate only missed against Atlanta. So, take a look at Rozier. Um, so, Hornets game, is that down? Nope, should be up. It's right here. So, pretty good game here. Oh, the Ball Brothers. This That's the reason. You probably want to place a couple on this because that's going to be a really, really fun game to watch. But 5.5 points spread right there. 224 points is the over-under on that. So, yeah, the middle ball, lots of ball going against each other. But we are focused on Rozier in this one. So shooting guard here going against Zach Levine. So shooting guard, uh, three-point makes against the Bulls. So the Bulls are allowing... So yeah, they're allowing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're the eighth hardest defense against shooting guards at three-point makes, but they're allowing three per, per game. So should be pretty good right there. I don't think, yeah, number five doesn't allow three-point makes on here, but let's take a look at where they have Rozier's numbers because that could be a little bit telling too. They met 17, so that's six points of that. Only has to be three-point makes for a push, but yeah, nine of that for, you know, his points, but... I think it's going to be a pretty good look today for Rozier. He just needs two. That's pretty safe. But also, if you guys do take a look at the defense here, Washington has the second hardest three-point defense. He had eight. <laughs> he had eight against the second hardest three-point make defense to shooting guards. So pretty good look, I say, for Terry Rozier, one of my favorites of the day. Let's go ahead, though, and take a look at now. We'll stop over points. This is probably going to be the last one here. Uh, I got a lot more that I'm doing. I'm going to be taking a lot taking more looks on some other guys later today but uh, these are just the ones i've been looking at early today just trying to get this video oh they dropped him big time i should have hopped on that man they dropped him by a point and a half Whew. a lot of people were hammering that under man basley was at 11 and a half earlier today this under was amazing but it still looks pretty good to be honest so eight eight four four and four pretty good uh, I'd say so has not hit in those last five on the over uh, and this is the OKC game so it could be a little bit close still so that kind of sucks but uh, starting power forward going against the Houston Rockets so power forward here points against the Rockets the Rockets 
really about right in the middle there, 20.58. I really wouldn't be focused on the number. I'd be focused more on where they rank against the other defenses because, you know, there's different players. But uh, let's take a look at where they have Baisley today. They have them under 10 still. Baisley, they have them at 10.7. They made it so much harder, man. That sucks. Where, okay, where does he rank against other defenses, though? Is the Pelicans, Kings, Clippers, Mavericks, or Heat in here? Um, I don't think so. I don't know. That was a lot of teams. So, um, yeah, I don't know. That's a lot tougher one to judge, man. I should have... I'm kind of mad at myself because I really want to take that earlier. But, I don't know. Maybe you can uh, take the overs and Lonzo Ball and the Mellow Ball here. <laughs> brotherly uh rivalry there so it should be a pretty good game though in that one i'm kind of excited to watch that one but it was a monday night football today so it should be a monday night football video out for you guys as well as an underdog nba video but that's pretty much gonna do it for the video man give you guys a couple right there man i was shocked to see basely got dropped down by a point and a half that was one of my favorites of the day that was my second favorite of the day and they just killed that one so probably just gonna completely fade that one now um yeah, probably just going to fade that one. I still think you'll probably hit the under, but I just don't want to mess with it, honestly. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for the video, man. Appreciate you guys watching. Again, if anyone is new, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn post notifications. Those are the things we're going to be out, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.